Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today I'm doing another test and this time it is an update on the Fluxgate generator setup designed by uh, T1000. So it's not my own design, designed by T1000. Uh, the difference is now that here I have a rotor uh, spinning. This rotor is an A-pole rotor. Um, the first one I had on there was this one, as you can see over here, with uh, these uh, iron uh, half a spheres. And now I have one on there, which is also an 8 pole, but that one has uh, ferrite bars on it. Um, it is doing pretty well. You can say, uh, you could say it had uh, some improvement. So, um, okay, let me start. It is, as always, already running. It is now running at 23 volts at, yeah let's say 75 or below milliamps maybe between 75 and 50 milliamps so that's a good start because in the last time with this rotor it, it was it was uh, 23 volt at 150 milliamps uh, I got here some numbers window coils are open so no load uh, it is running at 1563 RPM Last time, if you remember, it was running around 725 and Something like that, something in the 700 So the input milliamps is uh, half and the RPM is double Then I did a uh, load test, I put the uh, LEDs I have here six coils, just as before. Uh, three uh, sets, sorry, two sets of three in series. I put the LEDs on each series of three. Then the RPM RPM dropped from uh, 1563 to 1556. So it dropped around seven RPM. Then I short both of those series uh, sets and it stay the same so there's that uh, there's not much of a drop over there then I did something different what I did as I have it now that's why all the uh, wires I have uh, I hope you can see the tiny drawing over here uh, the above drawing is let's say one set of three coils below is one set of three coils I have them in uh, yeah you can say they are just shorted out because it is one continuous continuous loop now. I have from here going to there and from this going to there. It's just shorted out. When I have it like that, there's no RPM drop. Nothing. But there's no load on it. Then I put on this side over here the two LEDs. And then the RPM drop by 4 RPM only to 1559 and also in this configuration I get the best light output from these LEDs I hope you guys can follow that let me show you the lights in the door they are pretty good actually as you can see over there Oh yeah. <laughs> Oops, yeah. With all those alligator clips, it does come loose. But it's not bad. And of course, I have the uh, back EMF over there. So, yeah. All in all, I think working with a uh, with a rotor with ferrite disc on it is uh, is an improvement because the system is drawing far less now. Yeah, it is basically almost 50 million, so that's pretty nice. So once again, this is one set of three coils. This is one set of three coils. Oops. 
and uh, I show them out from here to there and from there to here it then put over here the LEDs and in this uh, position of configuration the RPM drop is only around yeah 4 RPM which is not much it's almost like nothing uh, actually anyway hope you guys get the idea um, I will write all, all of this in the comment section as always it's running very smoothly very nice so I know once again in there I have a apple rotor like this but with ferrite bars okie dokie hope you enjoyed it and I totally forgot to let you guys see I stopped the contraption now let you see um, how it's run freewheeling um, you can feel I can feel on my hand where there's a little spot here and there little bit of cogging you might say not much but give it just a little spin like that just to give you an idea how smooth it is turning very little calling very very little no it is not plugging as you can see over here still turning a little bit uh, almost going to stop yeah one more time you can see it going back for a little bit of uh, sticking point just a tiny little spin yeah I think you get the idea and here you can see the rotor there's one of those uh, ferrite bars on there okie dokie once again hope you enjoyed it and as always thank you for watching